Welcome everyone! Here is another video with one example of using Newton's method. The Newton's method is a procedure used to find the roots of a function. Here is the example. Approximate the root of x cubed minus x squared minus 1 equal to 0, accurate to the first three places after the decimal, using Newton's method and an initial approximation of x sub 0 equal to 1. The iteration rule for the Newton's approximation is the following. x sub n plus 1 equal to x sub n minus f of x sub n divided by f prime of x sub n. Now let's go through our problem. We let our function to be the following. f of x equals to x cubed minus x squared minus 1. From the general formula, we can see that we need the first derivative of, of the function. So we have f prime of x equals to 3x squared minus 2x. And from the problem, we can see that we have our starting value of x sub 0 equal to 1. The problem asks to find the root of the equation accurate to the first three places after the decimal. This should lead to a question of when do we stop? How many times do we go through the process? The answer to this question is the following. One of the common stopping points in the process is to continue until two successive approximations agree to a given number of decimal places. In our case, it is three decimal places. So let's work through our problem and you will see when we get to this point. We have our initial approximation x sub 0 and now we go and solve the next approximation x sub 1 by using the general formula. So we have x sub 1 equals to x sub 0 minus f of x sub 0 divided by f prime of x sub 0. So we have this expression. Now let's figure out what is f of x sub 0, what is f prime of x sub 0. I will write it like this. Here I will write our function. So x sub 0 cubed minus x sub 0 squared minus 1. And in the denominator I will write the derivative. So 3 times x sub 0 squared minus 2 times x sub 0. Now I will just plug the values of the initial approximation here. So we have x sub 1 equals to, for x sub 0 we have 1 minus 1 cubed minus 1 squared minus 1 divided by 3 times 1 squared minus 2 times 1. So for our first approximation we have a value of 2. We continue with the process and now we have we have to calculate our second approximation x sub 2. For x sub 2 we will have x sub 1 minus now here we have f of x sub 1 divided by f prime of x sub 1 or in another words x sub 1 cubed minus x sub 1 squared minus 1 divided by 3 times x sub 1 squared minus 2 times x sub 1. So x2 x sub 2 equals to 2 minus 2 cubed minus 2 squared minus 1 divided by 3 times 2 squared minus 2 times 2. When I calculate this, I get a value of 1.625. 
We don't have any clue yet, so we go further with the solving. So x sub 3. So now I'm pretty sure you understand the process. So now I'll go and I will write down the values directly by looking at the general formula and the function and its derivative if needed. So I will write it like this. x sub 2 minus. So here we have f of 1.625 divided by f prime 1.625 so we have x sub 3 equals to 1.625 minus 1.625 cubed minus 1.625 squared minus 1 divided by 3 times 1.625 squared minus 2 times 1.625. So for x sub 3, we have a value of approximately 1.48579. I will continue with the solving now. So for the fourth approximation we have x sub 3 minus f of 1.48579 divided by f prime of 1.48579. So 1.48579 minus 1.48579 cubed minus 1.48579 squared minus 1 divided by 3 times 1.48579 squared minus 2 times 1.48579. And now for the fourth approximation I get a value of approximately 1.46596. Let's look now and compare the x sub 3 and x sub 4. So this value here and x sub 4. The question asks accuracy to the first three places after the decimal. If we look at x sub 3 and x sub 4, we can see we have only one digit that is the same, the first digit after the decimal. That means we have to keep going with the solving. So next is the fifth approximation x sub 5 equals to x sub 4 minus f of 1.46596 divided by f prime of 1.46596. So we have 1.46596 minus 1.46596 cubed minus 1.46596 squared minus 1 divided by 3 times 1.46596 squared minus 2 times 1.46596 and now for the fifth approximation we get a value of approximately 1.46557 
Let's now compare x sub 4 and x sub 5. We see now, after the five iterations of Newton's method, we found a root accurate to the first three places after the decimal. Here is our stopping point. We see here for x sub 5 we have 1 1.46557. So look at these three digits. And for x sub 4, 1.46596. Here is our stopping point. We found our final approximation at it, and it is 1.465. I hope this gave you a better understanding of the Newton's method of finding the roots of a function. Thanks for watching.